Hello students, this is Oral Pharmacology, Chapter 1, Lecture 2. Safety of prescription pads is incredibly important. There are many people who would love to get their hands on your prescription pad. So make sure that you keep your prescriptions in a safe place. Some states require printed prescriptions with DEA number. Many states presently allow some form of electronic transmission of prescriptions. The prescription is electronically transmitted via a computer converted to fax to the patient's pharmacy. The prescription is filled from the electronically transmitted order. The physician is usually required to keep a written record of what is prescribed in each patient's charts. Children and infants require different doses from those of adults, and they are calculated by age, weight, or body surface area. In order to reduce medication error, it's important for patient saf safety to write the prescription in ink and print clearly or use electronic transmission. Enter the number of refills on the prescription, enter the age of the patient, and use electronic transmission of prescriptions whenever possible. The prescriptions should be written clearly, should state the dose, frequency of administration, and age of the patient. Do not abbreviate words. Communicate with patients on how to take the medication properly. Document in the chart what the medication was reviewed with the patient and that he or she understood how to take the medication. Successful pharmacotherapy depends on patient adherence. Different systems of measurement have been used in pharmacy, the metric, apothecary, and household, or avoirdupois. All drugs are given a safety category for use during pregnancy and for lactating women. The primary concern with giving certain drugs to pregnant women is that harm may fall to the fetus. The categories of pregnancy safety are A, B, C, D, and X. Safety category A states that studies on humans fail to show a risk to the fetus or the pregnant woman. This is the lowest risk. Category C states that animal studies have shown a risk to the fetus, but no human studies on pregnant women have been done. Category X states that studies in animals or humans have shown risk to the fetus and the woman, and the drug is contraindicated in women who are or may become pregnant. Be sure that you know the safety categories and the definition of each, and also which drugs fall into these categories. Have a few good up-to-date resources for chair-side use. Remember that every drug has three names, the chemical, the generic, and the brand name. The generic brand is always written in lowercase letters, and the brand name is capitalized. Medication use impacts the dental hygiene process of care. Pharmacology is an integral part of dental care and it is important to know medications that the patient is taking and how they impact the dental hygiene process of care. This concludes Lecture 2, Pharmacology, Chapter 1.